What is up, my friends? You are very welcome back to tonight's, well, I would say late night agenda, but let's call it late night news video. I've seen a little bit of news today that, quite frankly, shocked me, and I hope it isn't true. I'm going to go through it over the next few minutes. Of course, asking you guys to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. And most importantly, my friends, we would love you to hit that subscribe button. So look, the news that I'm going to break with tonight is a report that, well, Connor just sent to me in all honesty. And this comes from Transfer Sector. And it said, Barcelona are the only club that could convince Jurgen Klopp to not go on holiday. Having held conversations with Laporta, the German is said to be very keen. Now, there's a lot to unpack there. Firstly, we aren't aware of how true this is or not. It's reported, so I'm going to talk about it. I think if you want to throw your legacy at Liverpool into the bin, that's the way to do it. We love Jurgen Klopp. We idolise him. We also had him under contract until 2026, and Jurgen said that he wanted to take a break to, of course, spend time with his family or whatever, to relax, and that there will be no club or international football management for at least a year. And we, of course, all believe him to be a man of his word, so take it at face value. But let's say for a second it is true. What a shock that would be because one, I personally don't think Barcelona or Real Madrid are the type of club that would attract Jurgen Klopp to Spain. I've always thought that Atletico are probably the most likely fit. But Barca if he thought that FSG was tight with money, I'd love to see him go to Barcelona and deal with Juan Laporta and the Super League. The Super League project that he was, of course, very much against when he was at Liverpool, as were all of us, because, well, we have a European Cup. It's quite good. We've won it six times. Barcelona are, in my opinion, stirring. And I don't know... Well, look, the report comes from Gerard Romero, who I think is spoofing, if I'm being honest with you, because I refuse to acknowledge that it's true. Because if it's true, then... There's a lot that I just don't feel comfortable with. There's a lot that I would be surprised by. There's a lot that I'd be, quite frankly, angry about. This doesn't seem like Jurgen Klopp to me. And I guess we can look back to when he joined Liverpool and we could say he was supposed to be on a year sabbatical then. And an opportunity arose after, I think if my memory's right, four months. And he became Liverpool manager and the rest, as they say, is history. But... To do that again, when he would have broken the contract with us, that was till 2026, two years early, to go and join Barcelona straight away. I'm no business guru, but I can for one second believe that FSG would be happy about that situation, particularly because if you look back into our dealings with Barcelona over the years, John W. Henry is, well, I think he's played a blinder in what he's done with Barcelona, if I'm being honest with you. And I can't see him sitting back if Jurgen lied. And uh, look, as I said, I'm sitting here, I'm saying the words out loud, but I truly don't believe it to be true. But what I will say is, if Gerard Romero has said this, and it isn't true, you're going to have some angry Liverpool fans, and um, Liverpool fans know how to get stuff accomplished. Liverpool fans are fairly unique in finding a way to, let's say, repay the lies. So for me, if Gerard Romero has come out with this statement without facts or without backing it up with Jurgen Klopp signing for Barcelona I would say uh, we have a few words to have with Mr Romero about that situation nothing about Barcelona in its current guise would appeal to Jurgen Klopp in my opinion particularly not going and playing in the um, Olympic Stadium while the Camp Nou was being done it just doesn't strike me as being true as I said when I started this video it shocked me to my core because Quite frankly, I take Jürgen at his word. Go back to my videos when Jürgen announced his departure. I said that I'm taking the man at his word. I believe him that he'll take a year off. And I believe him that he needs a break because he looks exhausted. As do all managers who spend six, seven, eight, even five years in the Premier League. It's a demanding league. And you're under the spotlight at a club as big as Liverpool. You know, these pressures get to you. And when you have to be as creative as he has been in the transfer market and when he's had to find solutions that he's had to do through injuries and all over the years, he's always come up trumps. He'd one bad year last year and everybody said he's allowed that. He's, he's earned the right to have that bad year. So to finish up this little segment, I want to know if this news is indeed true, what do you think? How do you feel about it? And if it's all a pack of lies and if it belongs on a certain island, then what should we do to alert Mr. Romero that he's full of it? 
That would be my next question. Obviously, I don't mean that in any aggressive, threatening way. I wouldn't ever uh, advocate that in any way, shape or form. But I like calling out lies when I see them. And I know you guys are probably the same. So let me know your thoughts on it. And while we're speaking about Barcelona, uh, there was also a link to say that Liverpool are tracking Barcelona forwards Rafinha and Ansu Fadi as possible forwards should Mohamed Salah leave the club. No, we're not. Stop lying. Absolutely not true. Nobody wants Rafinha. He's overpaid at Barcelona. Barcelona overpaid for him. And he was of interest to Liverpool and Arsenal when he was at Leeds. But now that he's gone to Barcelona and not really pulled up any trees in fairness, as if we're going to spend that much money to bring him in to replace the great Mohamed Salah. And Soufadi, look, I can see a world where Premier League clubs are interested in him. You know, he's playing with Brighton at the minute on loan from Barcelona. And at least he's a younger profile than Rafinha. So for me, I think that's absolute nonsense. I don't think, again, ask yourself this. When is the last time Liverpool Football Club bought a player from Barcelona or Real Madrid? It doesn't really happen. So again, I'm going to say that this is another little bit of nonsense. And surprisingly, it comes from Sport, who are a very Barcelona-friendly publication over in Spain. And I've said this to you guys for years now. Spanish media... uh, are very club-centric and are very defensive of the football clubs that they back. And they come out with an absolute load of tripe and nonsense. The moment Jurgen Klopp announced he was going to be leaving Liverpool, these stories started to come out. Juan Laporta is deluded. Juan Laporta needs to focus on the Super League project that is a shit show and needs to understand that Jurgen Klopp is not going to be attracted to go to a bro club that are selling off their future Um, to try and stay above water and are bringing in over the hill players it's not something that I can see being a possibility nor can I see us going and buying these players being something that we consider so now it's over to you guys I want to know how you feel about it Jurgen Klopp situation do you believe it to be true from my uh, understanding of Mr Romero I think a lot of the time he's full of it but then again I think a lot of the Spanish media Graham Hunter, Guy and Balagain some very good journalists aside are also fairly full of it. That's my take. I want to know what you guys think. You know me. I don't hold back on these things. And if that was to happen with Klopp, I would be absolutely apoplectic, fuming, angry, and questioning everything, because I'd feel like we were lied to. I want to know your thoughts. Let me know. Again, apologies for not being able to do any live streams. Just got out of bed to do this video, to go back up straight to bed again. So I appreciate your understanding of us not being live, and I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Of course, we're going to start building up to the game against Burnley on Saturday, where hopefully we can get another three points and continue our quest for the Premier League because I'm not giving up. The players won't give up. We can't give up as fans. Keep believing until it's mathematically impossible. That's my take. Over to you. What's a take, by the way? That's my take. Over to you. Bye-bye.